Hello everybody and welcome to Free Spirit TV Information Beyond Mainstream. Today I'm very honored to present to you Ole Damegard. Ole is truth seeker, code breaker, peacemaker, author, international speaker and leading expert on false flag operations. Over 30 years of his life he has been dedicated in researching many of the global conspiracies like the assassinations of JFK, Martin Luther King, John Lennon and Lady Di, as well as the terror attacks of 9-11, Norway, Oklahoma City and many, many more. Today, I'm very excited to talk with him about false flag operations in general and how we can help prevent such planned massacres from happening. Hier noch eine Nachricht in eigener Sache. Free Spirit TV ist eines von mehreren Projekten des Free Spirit Bewusstseinstrainings. Dieses Training ist ein hervorragendes Konzept für Menschen, die einfach mehr vom Leben wollen. Wenn du dich nach etwas sehnst, sei es, dass du noch glücklicher sein möchtest oder reicher, gesünder oder nach einer tollen Beziehung, wenn du dich beruflich auf deine Vision konzentrieren und noch so einiges anders verwirklichen möchtest, dann empfehlen wir dir von ganzem Herzen das Free Spirit Bewusstseinstraining. Du findest es unter www.freespiritinfo.com. Ah ja, und noch etwas, da immer mehr alternative Kanäle im Internet unterdrückt werden, wissen wir nicht, wie lange wir dort noch senden können. Für den Fall, dass die uns das Licht abdrehen, sei vorbereitet und abonniere daher unbedingt unseren Newsletter auf freespirit-tv.ch. Danke und schön, dass es dich gibt. Organisation. And then if you try to leave, that's when they hit you over the fingers. Mm -hmm. Like Norway was just about to get out of the mm -hmm. bombings of Libya when the mass shooting on, on Utøya happened. You know. If you try and pull out on NATO, they will hit you. Because had Norway pulled out, Denmark would have pulled out. And that could have been part yeah. of the whole thing. So they will hit you over the finger. Or if you stand up against Israel. That's always Benjamin, dangerous, right? Benjamin, Mr. Mm -hmm. Terror himself, Netanyahu, he got, I think, 25 standing ovations. I think it was 25 in the capital. 25. Obama got 15 at the most. 20. I mean, if, if, Swiss, uh, if Switzerland would send their prime minister to the White House, would people even come? I don't think so. No. If Denmark, no. would they even come? I don't think so. Mm. Why standing ovations by the US Congress, 25, that tells you something. Mm. That tells you something that the whole balance, and this is the thing in the world now, everything is upside down. Mm -hmm. What we are being told is good, is bad. Mm -hmm. What we're being told is bad, it's good. And it's sort of like, I should trust the police. I should be totally safe and feel safe when I cross borders. I do not. Yeah. Borders are the ones where, please come with us, and mm -hmm. it's bye-bye Mr. Denmark here mm -hmm. or I get a beautiful uh, orange overall and free meals for forever and ever Do you oh, know God. where instead I if I trust Hell's Angels I trust gang members I trust prisoners it's so upside down mm -hmm. yes yeah, it's, it's a time of deception and confusion Whew, right it is what what can we do we people We're is there something it. every single one of us can do to help prevent something like this yeah what would you suggest? if you want to be part of preventing mm -hmm. then learn the methods I, I've done uh, one presentation that I'm really proud of it's called terror are you kidding me I love the title because mm -hmm. that is exactly it and I break it down I show exactly you can find it on YouTube I, they try to shut it down every single day but I we keep loading up in different areas terror are you kidding me? And I just show how it is done, all the different aspects. It's mm -hmm. just like becoming a master chef. You know, how do you use the spices? Do you need, to, what mm -hmm. do you need to do this dish? Boom. This is a terror dish. How do you create it? You do like this. You can change the taste, the form, the shape, whatever. It's still the same. And this is it. So the more you become aware of, hopefully that would be part of breaking the spell yeah. because it is we are in this spell of fear mm. and i sometimes uh, 
like you know, with like if you if you watch a magician, and the magician is like a rabbit, <laughs> and you're like, holy crap, that is like that's magic. Then the more times you see the show and you start moving around, you take new seats every time, so that you get all the way around. One day you will suddenly see, oh my god, he's doing it behind his back. He's doing it with this hand. Mm -hmm. I'm staring at this one. He's doing it with this. From that second, the next time you even try, you will say, oh, come on. I know what you're doing. I can see it. Stop mm -hmm. it. The same with these things. It's deception. So the t when we see it, boom. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to wake up millions. I know that I already have. I'm just a one-man guy. But if you look at the views, I've got millions of views. Mm -hmm. So every single one, let's say that every third person have been affected, have thought, whoa, I'm starting to see this as well. Mm. That, would, that person would then speak to another and another right. and another. Mm -hmm. So, and this is what they fear as well. And this is also, I think, why they're ramping these alleged attacks up all the time, because more and more people are becoming aware of it, because they need to get us into the cage so they can lock it and throw the, away the key. That is their intention. And I say, absolutely no way <laughs> is that going to happen. So there is a way out of this. Yay, baby. <laughs> this, this is a beautiful time. This is a beautiful, scary, intense, horrifying, mm. wonderful, developing, transcending ceremony of courage and determination. I love it. I'm shit scared at times. I love it uh, because the end result, if we do this beautifully, if we do it in a nonviolent way, whew, this world can be transcended into paradise. Because it is just like, do you know, when you had uh, the Boston Strangler or one of these serial killers, that could keep a whole city like the size of New York in terror. It's one guy with one knife. I mean, come on, what's that big deal? You know, one mm. person. Here we have a small little group of absolute psychopaths that do not know better, so you can't blame them either. You can only blame yourself. How could I, mm. how can I buy this crap over and over and over again and believe it? I mean, really, it's like you should wake up. <laughs> yeah. When you, I mean, it's like watching Rambo 34 times and still expecting a different ending. Will he manage Rambo? Will he be the winner? Will he? Allah Akbar, the Quran, they leave the passport, really? I mean, and it doesn't make any sense again and again and again. And we're like, oh, they found the passport. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's crap. Right. But they need to ooh, push it in there so that we don't have time to divert away. Mm. So the thing is, become fearless. Find ways to let go of fear. The beauty of fear is that it's, can you grab fear in the air? Have you ever felt fear? Have you seen it? It's not there. Mm -hmm. It's not real. It's in here. So how can they keep you fearful? Only because they get in there. So how do they get in there? It's through media, most of it. Yeah. It's TV, movies, music, uh, magazines, uh, commercials, all of these type of things. Mm -hmm. So the wonder of modern technology is the remote control. And there's this fantastic button that is normally red and it says off. <laughs> you press that one and it's a way out. Because this beautiful smart TV, everything that is called smart, turn the word, it's called, it, the real description is evil. It should be evil TV, evil phone, evil fridge, evil that. That would give you the right description of it. It is made out of evil to control you. So everything evil, I would say, let it go. Turn off this sewage channel that is in your living room and you put your children, I'm guilty as well, it's, it's a babysitter, it's beautiful, it will take care of your children, they will only be totally fucked up in their mind forever and ever. Mm. Leave it because that will give me another break. Not good. Not good, not good. Turn off the media, stop watching mainstream media. It used to be okay, now they've taken over. You can see the, the ownership of these things. 
like in the US, I think 96 or 97% now, I think it's all, I don't want to say 99, but I think it is, is owned by six companies and these companies work together as well. Man. So is it strange, and it's not only TV, it's publishing houses, book publishers, magazines, radio stations, owned by the same six. Okay, great if this is Mahatma Gandhi and his uncle and his wife or whatever, I would feel comfortable. But if it's if the person of that is Al Capone's grandchild, or do you know like or or Ted Bundy's or whatever, you would like, can I trust this? The answer is absolutely no. You cannot. And if you go into how the CIA operates, one of the things they focus on is intelligence, how to get into your mind, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. So, and like David Atlee Phillips, who was, uh, he was the director of the COVID operation for the Western Hemisphere, he said, I can kill more people with my typewriter than a whole army. Just you write, brrr, you publish it, it's nicely printed with a nice cover and a little jingle in the background, it gets to you. Mm. So I say, Stop the input and also become aware that the, that fear is only connected to the future. It's mm. not here. You, it's not here. It's not, oh, it's fear. No, it's not. It's only in here. Mm -hmm. Meaning also this is where you can control it or become a victim of it. You have a choice. So how to control it? My blessing has been Raja Yoga, the science of the mind which is not a religion, it's more like a philosophy, but it's more like a manual of how to deal with this one. Mm -hmm. It's a 5,000 year old philosophy or, or manual, it's really like a handbook. In this situation, what to do with this one? Because they, in yoga you say that the mind is like a drunken monkey stung by bee on acid, <laughs> you know, that is, a, that is capable of anything yeah. if you don't pull the reins. That's true. Do you want to be controlled by the mind or do you want to control your mind? Mm. So this is what has helped me mm -hmm. because I live in a very peaceful place most of the time up here mm -hmm. because I've been able to hard work, impossible, not. You know, it's exercise, right? It's exercise. Mm -hmm. But whatever works for you, if uh, you know, the next time something happens like this, instead of just <gasps> mm -hmm. take, a, take a step back, go for a walk, Hug a cup, pat a dog, hug a tree, smell some flowers, you know, get back into balance and then put it on again and say, okay, what am I actually seeing here? You know, step back and see it from the point of view that we've been discussing. How is these operations? What is the solution? Here's a problem apparently. Boom, whatever it is. <gasps> oh my God, I should be afraid here. Ask yourself, mm -hmm. who benefits from me believing this? Who benefits from me being afraid or whatever and wait for the solution? Just wait for it. Nowadays it comes, I tell you, you put it on, problem, mm -hmm. reaction, wait for it, wait for it. Because they don't want you to be able to switch channel. Right. They don't have time for mm -hmm. you to get bored. So they would just smack it in there. Boom, and oh, thank you. And who said it? Thank you, I recognize you as well. Tick box, tick box, tick box. Mm -hmm. And we're back to what is called the New World Order. Once again, global control, one world fascist state, one world digital currency, very dangerous. You take away cash money, the one that controls the, the chip controls you. Mm -hmm. Look at Sweden, absolutely cashless now. Horrendous. Okay. It's like the banks, you, you, there's negative interest. Mm -hmm. You have to pay the bank to take, for yeah. them to take your money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a one world army yeah. there to control you, not to, uh, to defend you. Mm -hmm. A one world religion, they're trying to destroy all religions. And a one world, no nations, to, that's what they're trying to do now, to dissolve all nationalities, the uh, national identity, the mm -hmm. race, the gender. I mean, now, how many genders are there? I used to think, yeah. man female. How naive was that? Mm. I mean, now we're up to 98. We're not really up to date. <laughs> 98? I mean, yeah. who can even come up with things like that? Have you heard, have you heard of floating gender? So that no, floating gender, I don't know. You wake up in the morning mm. and say, today I feel like a man. feminine. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. I'm going to be a woman. Call mm. me Olivia. And tomorrow, who knows? I wake up. Maybe I'm trans. Maybe I'm not. Mm. Maybe I'm gay. It's bizarre. It's insane. Yeah. And all of it is mm. to dissolve yep. and to destroy our bodies. Nature. And Na natural nature things, right? as well. Nature. It's on all, that's what I mean with a full spectrum. Yeah. And these vaccines, I tell you, whew, bad, bad, yeah. bad. Mike, I've got a daughter. We've got three kids together. None of them have ever been vaccinated. Um, I think the boys that are not, they're twins, they're 25 now. I think they've been sick for like three days in total. <laughs> My sweetheart right. never vaccinated, yeah. ever. Unfortunately, I was vaccinated mm -hmm. on an early age. So I know that I've got some of these floating around especially mm -hmm. the SV40, not good news, um, and so on. So if anyone came close to my kids with a needle or my loved ones, I would fight them like had they come with a machete. Mm -hmm. Machete. That yeah, is the exact dangerous. same. Yeah. yeah, and these companies, you have to look into the, who owns them. Mm -hmm. It's their war criminals. They're horrific individuals connected through media. No, say, sort of big pharma and the military industrial complex mm. and oil, all of them, they're the same. And you cannot sue them. They're not responsible. Yeah. They have not been tested. So I tell you, I ask you, if there was the, if I wrote a horror story, there's this man now in Zurich, Zurich who is uh, in a white coat mm -hmm. and he, he he's gets hold of his victims and he injects like mercury, like formaldehyde, uh, all kinds of bizarre viruses, animal viruses, uh, all of these things, into his victims, people would go, oh, that's horrific, that's mm -hmm. awful. No, that's exactly what happens now, but they've got a, a, a title, mm -hmm. like doctor this and this, that gets paid per shot and gets all kinds of really nice uh, trips and conferences, mm -hmm. you know, Florida or Jamaica or whatever, per injection. And the nurses, they do what they think is correct. The parents do what they think is correct. And out of love for their children, and mm -hmm. they destroy them. It's so horrendously awful. Yeah, it's because it's all based on fear, like you said before, right? That's you are a bad right? parent if you yeah. do not do. So I ask you this one. If you fear a disease, mm -hmm. and you have got the vaccination, what, what does it matter to you if I'm not vaccinated? Yeah. Because you're already safe. You're right. You shouldn't care. Mm. care about it at all so what is all of this about mandatory thing what is it but the thing is for instance in spain where we live mm -hmm. our daughter was supposed to get an injection to be able to go to public school now we're homeschooling some many, many years but otherwise she wouldn't be allowed mm -hmm. i normally don't lie i lied my teeth out i lied over and over again i can't find the paper i she, i have she was vaccinated but i can't find it now and then in the end they just forgot about it because what i also found out was that they need at least 90 percent of the children vaccinated to get this the stately uh what do you call it um, grants uh -huh. okay. for the for the mm -hmm. so the government is saying you need to get everybody vaccinated otherwise we cannot pay you or mm -hmm. we will not pay you so the school is not aware either. They're just saying we need the kids vaccinated, not understanding what's going on. Mm -hmm. The nurses not understanding what's going on. The doctors not aware of what's in it, but being paid to do it and not tested. No, it's not. And for long term, oh my God, it's awful. No, it's not tested at all. For long term, anyways. Yeah. No, because it's it takes crazy. a long time to yeah. test it and they just pump it out. Mm -hmm. So what would you say? I feel you're a spiritual person as well, the way you are, the way you I talk. I am, otherwise course, I wouldn't be. Right? Uh, what would you say is the spiritual lesson we all need to learn at that moment in time? Love. Is it? Yeah, okay. Letting love, go love, love. All you need is love and courage mm -hmm. and awareness and understanding. Not an easy one, but just like in the laboratory where the lower frequencies get annulled, Fear gets another by love. The reason why these dark forces want us fearful is because there they can control us. Mm -hmm. So they need us shaking with a boot on top of our head, down in the mud, bent over, giving up, no power, totally buried in debt and, and uh, 
force, they no force left, no nothing. Mm -hmm. By the way, mortgage, do you know what mortgage means? Mm -hmm. Mortage, death mm -hmm. cage. That is a very nice description <laughs> yes. of a house loan. So. Yeah. It's in our yeah. face. You've got government, government, that means control the mind, mind mm -hmm. control, government. In other languages, regering means rulers. Mm -hmm. The government rulers. No, we, they should serve us. No, they say it to our face. We are the rulers. Mm -hmm. And that's what they do. Anyway, so I think that, uh, not that I'm Christian, but I think that uh, Jesus was a super hacker. <laughs> yeah. uh, the way I see it, he got it. He cracked the matrix. Mm -hmm. He understood this whole thing. So he said, whatever the problem is, and he was not the only one, Buddha and other, uh, other of these very elevated individuals or spirituals, they, what they said was, whatever the problem is, meet it with a higher frequency. Mm -hmm. And while you're at it, why not go for the highest? Whatever the problem is, meet it with love. Right. Meet it with love. So that is the mm -hmm. thing. If we go into fear, if we go into hate, if we go into violence, we're lost. We, we, it will just go on. It will mm. continue and continue. So the thing is to meet these ones face, face to face with love, just like I described before. Just meet these ones, love, bless the hell out of them. <laughs> really, literally, mm. bless the hell out of I them. I see. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. And I think God, I, I saw this in a film the other day where it says that God is into the recycling business, turning <laughs> trash into treasure. <laughs> so we have these dark forces. And I've got this beautiful, beautiful prayer that I always end with. And it goes like this. It's Nelanis once again. But I've fine-tuned it. It goes like this. May the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. May everyone, and especially the ones who hurt us, be filled with peace and joy, love and light. May the light of truth overcome all darkness, so victory to that light. Mm -hmm. We need to heal them as well. That's yes. the thing. Yeah. They're so easy to hate, but if we hate them, we're in their game. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my absolute pleasure. So we're almost in the end well, of our interview. And in the end of our interviews, we always have some incomplete sentences, which okay. we like our guests to complete spontaneously. Do okay. you like to play along? Go along. <laughs> Truth is... Wonderful. Peace. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> That's a good word. I loved... I, sorry. No I am deeply in love with truth. I absolutely adore truth. Truth, fear, no investigation, no criticism, it just stands. It's totally effortless. There's no energy needed for truth. Mm. Conspiracies is a hellhole to move. Mm. It so, takes so much energy of lies upon lies, upon manipulation, of fear and, and the paranoia and all of it, just to move it one step at a time. Oh my God, what the, did he say that? I mean, we agreed upon that. Oh my God. And now he's talking, oh, about, what about this? We need to silence him. Boom. Okay. Oh, now his family is after us as well. What is, do you know, the truth just boom. Mm -hmm. It is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I am, I'm so in love with truth. And truth is not easy to find sometimes, but it's the guiding light in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to prove anything. I'm just trying to find the truth of these things. People have to. Nothing. You should not have to do anything. Take away the have to. People should just, I would, I would recommend people to get out of their head into their heart. Mm -hmm. It's called the longest travel. Yeah. But the heart knows, the heart knows we're born with this GPS. You know inside you, if you kick that dog, not good. Mm. If you're kind to that person, it feels good. Yeah. You know, you have it in you. Then we get totally messed up by life, or by other people that are totally messed up, from their parents that are totally messed up, from their parents that are totally messed up. Mm. We need to heal this whole thing. So get out of this one, because this one can tell you anything, make you capable of mass murder, whatever. If you let this one loose, you mm. are in trouble. 
go down in the heart. This is one. That is the one that should control you. And let your heart, feelings guide you, because the feelings are, I think, a guiding system from your higher self. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like in a computer game where we're the ones playing the game. I've written a book called Remind Me, Re-Mind Me, mm -hmm. about this whole thing, the way I see the matrix, how it's all structured. And it, I believe that it is like in a computer game, this artificial, whatever it is we're living in, dream, I don't know. Uh, but they, uh, many of these big religions and philosophies talk about your higher self, the Buddha, that we are two at the same time. I think that there is a bigger Ole somewhere, I have no idea, that is me, playing me. And, but it would be too easy, it would be game over right away if we could speak to each other. Because <laughs> I would just tell myself, oh, come on, mm. it's so obvious. Are you that stupid? Move, go, do. And then it would be not interesting at all. Mm. It would just, okay, <laughs> game over. But here, so what the, whoever set this whole thing up has done it so that the higher self can only communicate through feelings. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the reason we come down here is for the same for all of us is to find out why am I here? Am I here to become a baker? I think not. Or I'm a disaster in the kitchen. Apparently I'm not supposed to be there. Follow the goosebumps. Whatever gives you goosebumps, I say, that is the map. Not easy. It will put you in difficult situations. Like I'm doing my Dharma now. I was shaking some years ago, crying, speaking in front of people. The, I, I would rather die, really. I was so afraid of it. Mm. And look at me now. Yeah. I mean, look, that just shows you. If you pass through that door of absolute horror, <gasps> you just expand. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. people should do nothing except go back down into the heart. I recommend, I'm not pointing fingers, I'm just mm. saying it works for me. And then listen to the feelings. When you, when you get off track, it will tell you, just like, you know, an echo, mm -hmm. beep, 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 <laughs> beep, beep. Yeah. If, you, if you feel good, if you're strong and compassionate, you're on track. Mm -hmm. If you're like, yeah, you're full of energy, on track. If you start getting frustrated, angry, depressed, all of these so-called negative, mm -hmm. the negative feelings are there as a guiding saying, listen, up to you, but there's a better way mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, that's so a good tip. So most people that are not feeling good, if you ask them, they've got off track, they've mm -hmm. lost their ways, they don't know where to go. So find the goosebumps. The goosebumps, mm -hmm. even though it will challenge you, is the way for you. <laughs> Our system needs. Our system needs to disappear. <laughs> I mean, really. Do you know, I was, uh, I was a speaker just a month ago in, in Anacapulco in, mm -hmm. in Mexico, and people explained to me anarchy, and I thought anarchy is like chaos, mm. violent chaos. Mm. That is what I thought. It's absolutely not. It's life with rules, but without rulers. I thought, I like that. Mm, I like it too. <laughs> Follow the rules of the heart. No rulers, they can just disappear. <laughs> because their game is domination. Mm. I do not want to be dominated. Back off, get a life, leave us alone. That's what I say. We can, if you want to mess up someone else, mess up each other. We can give mm. you an island, beautiful place. <laughs> you can be psychopaths, play psychopaths, whatever satanic things you want. But do it to you, each other, mm. you know. Get some masochists and some sadists together, great, and leave us alone. Mm -hmm. I saw this documentary about, uh, there was this TV crew that traveled around the world, and they were asking people of all kinds of backgrounds, religion, races, what do you want out of life? And when they compared it, like people said 95% more or less the same. They want to live in peace, they want to be happy, they want to uh, create great lives for their children, education, they want good friends, they want to party from time to time, not work too much, be free, be creative, just be able to express themselves. 95%, doesn't matter, black, Hindu, mm -hmm. Sikh, you name it. Then 5%, politics, sports, religion, 
what was it else? That was more or less it. These were the things that really, ah, mm -hmm. that's only 5%, it's great. Mm -hmm. It's so one. Many. Yep. I, I ramble on, but the, I went to this workshop once. It was uh, a couple, they were black belts in Aikido, mm -hmm. martial law, martial art, martial law, martial <laughs> arts. That was well, a funny slip. <laughs> but anyway, it was a workshop for couples, mm -hmm. for relationships, but it was martial law. Martial arts, martial arts. What, the, what am I saying? But uh, so the thing was, they were doing all of these exercises, but it was a it was about relationships, how to deal with each other. And so I thought that was super interesting. Mm -hmm. And there was one exercise where uh, this guy said, he held me up against the wall, like boom, like this muscle, big guy, like this and this up against the wall. Mm -hmm. And he said, what is your situation right now? <laughs> and I said, I'm stuck. <laughs> and he said, are you really? And I said, yeah. So he said, how big a big a part of you is stuck. And I started thinking, he said, is it 90%? And the more I looked at it, I was only mm. stuck here yeah. and here, which is like nothing, mm. even though there was a lot of power right there. So he said, just free yourself in the mind. Do not see this as a problem and dance out of it. Just mm. dance out of it. And I tell you that the big boys could not keep us. <laughs> Once you let go of this one, and so many of us are so incarcerated by tiny things. Mm -hmm. We think, I'm blocked, I'm locked in, I'm stuck. How stuck are you? Mm. That's a good question. Do you know, you're healthy, mm. you, have a, you have a house, you have a partner, maybe you've got family, maybe you've got two legs, two eyes. I mean, amazing. There was this boxer called Ruben Hurricane Carter who was, uh, he was sentenced to 20 years, or life in prison actually, for a triple murder that he did not commit. Mm -hmm. He was a boxer, professional fighter, really, really good. There's a movie by Denzel Washington made by, it's mm -hmm. called Hurricane. And I saw an interview with him after he managed to get out. There was this young guy, he was only 17, that managed to get him out of jail. And it's like in the movie, he says, hate put me in here, love, took me out, broke me out. Beautiful movie, beautiful. But there was this interview with, uh, with um, Oprah, and this guy is just so beautiful. His eyes are... Because this guy spent the time in there purifying himself. Mm -hmm. He could have turned into an absolute monster, hateful, all of that. He was for years, and then he turned it around. And so what he said was like, now he's out. He said, I wake up in the morning, be, he's, he had a partner, I say, I look at her and I just feel 95% of all problems solved. <laughs> because he knows the difference. Yeah. So we should wake up like, yay, baby, a new day, yow, <laughs> every single day, but we don't. Oh, I'm so depressed, oh, I'm so, and depression is I, me, mine, I think. When you're too focused on yourself, mm -hmm. that is a downward mm -hmm. spiral. It's I, me, minefield, <laughs> you know? And that, people say, oh, it's so sorry, for, I'm so sorry. It's, it's physical, it's, what, it's a disease, it's what, where did it start? Mm. It's, I can almost, I'm not an, an expert, but I tell you, I've listened to a lot of whining. Mm. And it starts with the victim. Mm -hmm. I am a victim, I am a victim. The world is cruel and you start going into this spiral why me spiral. why me why me and it's more and more and then you start popping pills or whatever mm. and you go so the way out instead of i we mm. what can i do for us what can i do to help you you know get out of bed to start with kick your own butt get out get a shower and then see how can i help get out of the head mm -hmm. the depression is here it's nothing you can you can't touch it once again. The battlefield is in here. And the way out is helping others. Mm -hmm. There's so many people in need. Yeah. And it's wonderful. It's everywhere you want to look, there's somebody to help. That's true. Which, and beautiful acts of kindness are wonderful. Random acts of kindness where you don't expect anything. Because it's empower the one who does it. If you do it without ego, 
then the person who receives it will receive it like that. It will empower that person. Mm -hmm. Every single one who sees it will be, wow. <laughs> so this, I love random acts of violence. They say drive-by shooting. I say drive-by hugging or drive-by <laughs> kindness. Yeah. You know, like if you drive down the toll road, pay for the person who comes after you. Somebody mm -hmm. you never know. You have no idea. Just boom, pay for another one. Yeah. It goes up. Pay for a cop. If somebody looks depressed somewhere, just go up to the waiter. Don't tell them mm -hmm. because then it's business then and it's business, yeah. me good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, just do it. You know, this guy over there, an extra pizza slice or whatever. I tell you, it can sometimes save lives. Yeah. These tiny little things. That's true. Mm. So, and I, I'm just, uh, I get a kick out of it. I love <laughs> kindness. It's cool. I think, no, it's wimpy. It yeah. is not. <laughs> Look at Jesus, he was kind. Mm -hmm. He was a rebel. They chopped him up. No, they didn't, but they nailed him up. They killed him. He was still kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's because <laughs> they fear kindness. Yeah. Kindness is cool. Well, I'm that would be a nice t-shirt, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what Kim said, my sweetheart, the other day? She said, when hit shits the fan. Yeah. When hit shits the fan. Okay. I'm going to make a t-shirt <laughs> yeah, when cool. hit shits the fan. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one too. Change is possible if? If you want to. But you have to do the work for it. It's like, uh, I'm thirsty. Well, there's water underneath. I'm still thirsty. Well, there's a, there's a shovel over there. But I'm thirsty. <laughs> you want it. You have to work for it. It's, you have to combine the body, spirit and mind to make a change. Yeah. If you're just in the mind, mm. nothing happens. At least I think it needs to be combined mm -hmm. with action as well. So purifying the mind and then align body and mind and spirit enters. Yep. And in spiritus, in spirit, inspiration is in spirit. Mm -hmm. So may, every time we get inspired, I think it's like divine download. Yes. And, and uh, like for instance, this book, Remind Me, mm -hmm. I, I wrote that out of inspiration. Mm -hmm. I do not take credit for it. I was the one that... Which is typing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to yeah. tell you, I haven't told this to anyone before. What happened was that I was stuck in my way of thinking. It was just in a loop. Mm -hmm. And I was bored with listening to the same, the same. And I was like... And at that point, I had did, done a lot of meditation, and a lot of purifying the mind. and all. So I felt I'm ready, but I don't know how to. And then there was this uh, uh, girl who was part of the same yoga group, whose boyfriend was a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. And he said that I can help you. I said, what? <laughs> and he had this thing that is, uh, it's a natural herb or something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it's called, but it's 10 times the strength of LSD. So, wow. but I just felt in myself, yes, I, this, I need a hit Was on the head. Was it DMT? No, no, it's way stronger. Stronger? Um, uh, I can't remember yeah. now. It's a Spanish name. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it, it's only like a 10 second, like, but these 10 seconds, it's like put yourself in a dragster and step on it, like, whoa, and back. So uh, I did that. I was in perfect balance. I'm, I mean, other people, if you do it as a party drug, mm -hmm. you will fall over, you will do it. But I was in a good space, otherwise I wouldn't have done mm -hmm. it. So I did it. I felt great that I did it. I didn't feel any different. But anyway. Then a few days later, I was driving towards Gibraltar down the highway. Brrr, suddenly, I just had this thought that, whoa, I never thought that before. That was new to me. And then it just started coming. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. So I turned around the car. I said, no way I'm going to Jib. I'm going home. I drove home. I said to Kim, please do not talk to me for like whatever. Uh, if you want to bring me food or whatever, but please, I need to do this. She said, she knows me. So she said, oh, come on, here he goes again. <laughs> so anyway, she left me alone. I was for three, four days. And then I had this whole thing together. And I was like reading it myself. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. <laughs> wow. So I went to my spiritual teacher, Nelani, who is mm -hmm. very, very busy. She's all over the world uh, traveling. I mean, it's an amazing person. And uh, I said, Nelani, have you got like 10 minutes? There's something I want to show you. And uh, I was 
insecure, you know, it's like there it was like a newborn baby. And she said, I got 10 minutes, but that's it because I got, I said, 10 minutes, just if you could please have a look. She looked at it, she was reading it for one hour, she didn't say one word. I was sitting sweating, just waiting for her to, you know, where now she's, <laughs> you know, this is crap. This, she says, this is divinely inspired. I want to pay for the printing of this book. Mm. So she, mm -hmm. she uh, funded the printing of the book and wrote the foreword, oh. meaning wherever it came from, I do not know. Yeah. But it, I feel that there is like a divine internet. I think this whole internet world now is making it more easy for us to understand with computers, hard drives, mm -hmm. processors, yep. the whole thing, the memory lane, also the body, all the body cells, that is an additional hard drive with all the mem cell memories. Mm -hmm. And then you have inspiration, but you have to get away the confusion mm -hmm. and then so you can align and boom. Mm -hmm. So whatever the, you want to do in life, don't worry about it. Just focus on purifying the mind, get the nonsense out of there. Mm -hmm. Not easy. It's like with gold, you have the higher the temperature to melt out all of the, the impurities mm -hmm. in it. It's called tapas in, in not tapas, like tapas bars, <laughs> but in, in yoga philosophy, tapas, burn it. Burn, it burns, mm -hmm. not pleasant, mm -hmm. but once you burn through it, there's this peace, peace. that comes with mm -hmm. it. Short answers, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I'm very good at short answers. <laughs> Freedom is wonderful. <laughs> it's delicious. I love it. I love it. Everybody should be free. And I will not rest until everybody is free. And it's something I wish for everyone. But we have to make ourselves free also because many people are enslaving themselves. You know, I couldn't believe it. I, I met this woman yesterday from Berlin mm -hmm. who have lived in West Berlin her whole life. And when the wall came down, she says, it's still the same. The wall is still there, but it's not there. But yeah. people are still in the same areas with the same friends and families, the same everything. And somebody, some of them are really wish that the wall would come back up. Mm -hmm. So see this as if you feel blocked in, it's because you have blocked in yourself. Yeah. There is a way out. And the, the movie, The Wall, with Pink Floyd, mm -hmm. interesting. Just another brick in the wall mm -hmm. and another one. So you have to, afterwards, if you have managed to build yourself in like that, which life does to you if you're not aware of it, then there is a way out, but it's mm -hmm. hard work. Life is? You're wonderful. <laughs> Delicious, amazing, incredible. And uh, sometimes I feel enough. I'm ready to move on, wherever that is. <laughs> I am. Wonderful. <laughs> oh. I am are magical words. Mm -hmm. It is whatever you put after it right. will shape your life and mm -hmm. your experiences. I am depressed. I am sick. I am angry. I am whatever. And the more you charge it with feeling, mm -hmm. you can get yourself into real heavy yeah. crap. So be aware. I listen to yourself. When people speak, talk about themselves, listen. Mm -hmm. When somebody says, well, I'm really a psychopath. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you know, when somebody says things like yeah. that, whew, listen good. to what people mm -hmm. are saying and listen to how you, how you talk about yourself, how it, maybe you degrade yourself or put yourself mm -hmm. down or smack yourself around or listen to the, way, the words you're using. And especially, I am, that, these are the key words in the universe for creation. That's why I say I'm wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could. Mm. I wish I could share um, my inner peace with people in trouble. Mm -hmm. I would never hurt anyone. For the future, I wish. Paradise. <laughs> Love is. Wonderful. <laughs> this, and the answer. The answer. 
the only one. This is the thing. I need to simplify things. Mm -hmm. I am not, I get tired of words. I know that I've spoken a lot today. <laughs> Normally I'm known to be quite quiet, you know. Come on, say something. You're just sitting there in the corner being quiet. Apparently not when I'm with you, mm -hmm. but I sort of wait and then... <laughs> so what was the question? Uh, love is. Love is it. Love is it. Whatever the problem is, love is it. But the power of love, not fancy, mm. lust-filled, in love. In love is an absolute hormone, uh, hormone trap that leads you into absolute hell. Mm -hmm. I know. I used to be an in love junkie. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, pure hell, pure hell, where I just, I was lost for years. So I, I was alone for seven years before I met Kim because I needed to sort this one out because I was messed up mm -hmm. um, without knowing it. Mm -hmm. So it was quite the opposite of love, actually. Totally. Mm. In, in love is a dangerous place, I think. It's wonderful. Mm. I, I'm, I love it, but it's a drug. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that you feel, you meet someone, you feel, oh my God, before I met you, I had all of these closets inside with all this garbage, and now I meet you, I can't mm. feel it. It's amazing. You have saved me. You have made me whole. Mm. That works for about six months. Yeah. After six months, these doors start opening up. Mm. My God, it starts smelling again. Mm -hmm. What is going on? I brought you into my life to feel good, and now I feel like this. It's your fault. Trap, and then you start this yeah. whole blame game, yeah. and you're lost again. Mm -hmm. And then you say, I'm going to kick you out and find someone else to get <laughs> yeah. a high on. Yeah, get the same again. Yeah, Just not good. Color maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish there were like 10 different words for love, grades of love, mm -hmm. you know, because, and to use love and in love, it's a, it's a sigh up again. Somehow mm -hmm. I think they, they tricked us into messing the whole thing up. Yeah. And now, if you had the opportunity to spread out a message to every person on this planet, what would that message be? It would be, love is the answer, like I said once again, and let go of fear and see each other for who they are. If you take away the mess that you have in your head or the filters that makes you look at people in a certain way, they're wonderful. People are beautiful. And there's some psychopaths and some absolute assholes, but these assholes might think that I'm an asshole as well. So it's like, who knows who's right? But take away the judgment and just, um, if you live in love, life is wonderful. It is wonderful. And I am somebody who ought to be depressed. I know more sh crap and shit and inside info and black ops and you name it. I'm uh, surrounded by assassins and operatives. I don't know what. I should be an expert on depression. <laughs> I should. Mm -hmm. I really should. I should be depressed and want to hang myself. I am not. I am not. Because but you are maybe an expert because you know the way out of it. Say again, please. You are an expert on depression because you know the way out of it, right? I, I have been a very great expert on depression. I've been sitting with a shotgun in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I've, been, uh, I've been on a verge of depression for many years, I think. I'm sure I would have had a long AD, blah, blah, blah kind of description to mm -hmm. myself but the thing is it's in these times of horror or or difficult times that you purify yourself you either die if you want you commit suicide uh, but the thing i was not there with a gun in my mouth to shoot myself i was there to make a decision mm -hmm. i want to live i want to live and when you sit with a loaded gun and this is the difference between you being here or you not being here, then suddenly it's very like in your face once again. Mm -hmm. So that was, and what that was helped me as well. So I got the gun out and put it mm -hmm. away. And then I shaved my head off, uh, my hair off, because the hair consists, uh, it 
collects a lot of toxins. Yeah. So if you go into these mindsets for a long time, and I was very afraid when we were in Sweden, when this whole thing about Olaf Palme happened and my friends were murdered, I had, like I said, I had a, a visit at home. This is why we left very like this. And it's at that time, I had no protection. Now, my protection, you were talking about protection before, is that I've got, I have the spotlight on me. Mm-hmm. You know, because they are very, these dark ones are very afraid of blowback yeah. and creating martyrs as well. Mm-hmm. Because a martyr, if you, a normal person, you can discredit, you can destroy, you can terminate, you whatever. But a martyr is bigger than life. And they, if you see every time there's a military coup or like in Colombia or Chile or Argentina or whatever, Iran, there are these people that they torture to death and think, we got rid of him. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, boom, and they become like this and they cannot fight these people. They cannot fight a martyr, so they are very afraid. For instance, David Icke, why is he still alive? It is only because they fear they would have loved to turn to just totally demolish him Mm -hmm. years ago. And they are biting their tongue because they didn't do it. I'm sure they were on the verge to do it. And Mm -hmm. then, no, no, let's wait. And that was a mistake. Too late. Too late. Mm -hmm. So love is the answer. I live love. And if I die tomorrow, I know that I'm, I mean, I get death threats. And I'm, the thing is also with death threats, if you don't know, uh, people that want to kill you, they kill you. If you get a death threat, mm. it's intimidation. Yeah. So if they, if they tell you, pff, you're mm. right. So the way I deal with, with criticism or threats or whatever, if it's a threat, I go live on radio right away. Thank God I have all these threats. Mm-hmm. I say, I've just received a threat. It's from this person, this, 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 this is what's going to happen. If I'm right about to expose something big that I know that, oh, oh my God, like we exposed the two of the modern times where serial killers, I was almost shitting myself. I mean, it was so scary. I got kids as well. Yeah. These, they're so brutal, these forces, mm-hmm. you know. So, but if I get criticized, mm-hmm. which is not very often because I, I built on research, 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 then I let Kim read it. Nice. You know, I, and then she's, she, I said, please have a look at this. How bad is it? She said, on a scale of one to 10. Yeah, okay, it's a seven. Okay. Then I don't even I don't even read it. I don't even think of it. I don't even let it get because the only thing it will do it will affect my mind. It will mm-hmm. poison my mind. It will get me into anger, irrita- irritation, frustration. It will make me look at that person, whoever that is, in a different way. Mm-hmm. So I'm not doing it. Yeah, right. Criticize me. Mm-hmm. There it went. Because these forces also, it's a tug of war. They throw out the, mm-hmm. the rope to you. Pick it up, yeah. pick it up, pick. And if you do, you're lost. Mm-hmm. You're lost because they are experts of manipulation yeah. and, and, you know, and I, I get totally lost. You know, I lose myself. And this is also why I don't take part of debates. Mm-hmm. I'm not interested in sitting and arguing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. If anyone is interested in what is here, I would I love to share. If they're not, not a problem whatsoever. It's not for my sake. I know what I know. If you're interested, there you go. Mm-hmm. If you're not interested, there you go. Yeah, makes sense. So you stay focused. I yeah. stay focused <laughs> in love. Yes. Ole, thank you so much for this interesting interview, for these informations. I hope that this interview will be spread all over the place so many people can get more aware of what's actually going around and what's actually happening. <laughs> And so we can raise awareness. So I thank you so much for your work. My absolute pleasure. And I hope if I can reach, many people say, well, if I reach one, that is enough. I say, absolutely not. I want to reach hundreds of millions. And the thing, the wonderful thing is that uh, it's not me. This is the thing. Why do I affect people? Because I do that deeply on a big scale. Why is that? It's because before every single interview or what presentation I do is I pray. There's this uh, Melanie's guru. His name is Guru Dev. I've never learned anything from him, but I love his face. And it's indirectly Melanie. So I ask him, I ask all the saints, all the sages, all the angels, mm-hmm. 
all my ancestors to assist me, get my ego out of the way, and say whatever is needed to lift this world to the next level of beauty, understanding, harmony, compassion, everything like that. So when I speak, I mean, I don't know how it works, but what it does is that it resonates in people heart, people's heart. Mm -hmm. they, they recognize something, and that is the thing. It's not me, I'm just the deliverer. And this right. is also why I, I think I'm still alive, mm -hmm. because I come from that point, and they cannot grab onto me. Mm -hmm. Do you know, like a virus, it needs to have something to hook onto into the cells. If the cell is pure and whole, mm -hmm. you, you, you slide off. So I focus on being as whole as possible out of my own protection, also with the spotlight on me, because without the spotlight, yeah. I've been called the hardest working man in alternative uh, media, and that, mm -hmm. to a great extent, was to keep myself alive. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank you for your work and your courage. It's really courageous what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for inviting me here. <laughs> I'm, I feel honored. All the best for you. Thank you. <laughs> Dear viewers at home, thank you for watching. I wish you all the best. Much love from Switzerland. <laughs>